so we're back and in this part we will go home but first we are having some EVA with Bill Kerman so right now he is running I guess and if you press alt no now he's running so you can press alt to change between running and walking and you can also use his rocket pack by pressing R to fly around the moon and because of the low gravity here you can actually probably get to an escape velocity with just Bill flying on his rocket pod pack. I don't know if you can get an orbit with him but that will be something we can try later. So retracting the stairs and the solar panels, turning on the SAS and right now we are going to head for the 90 degrees marker as always. So turning up the engines, taking in the landing gear and we just turn straight over at once. Because there is no atmosphere on the moon we don't need to wait to get to a thinner atmosphere before we do our gravitational turn. We can do it at once. So we don't have to use that much fuel either to get from the moon. And we are taking it up to 30,000 no point of wasting a lot of fuel getting there because we're just going back home to Kerbin at once so we're facing Kerbin right now that probably means we have to do a one orbit before we go home but no problem Bill Kerman has a lot of energy and oxygen left in his tanks coming up to the 20 second marker as I always do and starting my burn getting his orbit in shape and Bill has had a very short EVA I think just a couple of minutes but he was happy and he has been the first Kerbin to go to the moon in this tutorials or in this series actually so he's now just looking forward to getting home and telling everybody about how it was but first we have to get our orbit to go back to the moon uh, to the Kerbin so I'm just using the maneuver nodes as always trying to find where my periaps is at the lowest because the lower we get the periaps the less fuel we have to use when we're in orbit around Kerbin to land on Kerbin because there's a less distance we have to bring the periaps down So if we were going to do the burn on the other side of the moon, we could actually probably achieve a uh, escape velocity out of the Kerbal space or the Kerbal the Kerbal system or the planet Kerbal and go into the solar system. And this is what we're going to do when we are doing our international probe. We're not going to land it on the moon and circularize it, but we're going to use the moon to slingshot ourselves into the vastness of space. Uh, and we are just warping using the beloved warp to get ourselves into orbit around Kerbin. And we can see the debris flying around Kerbin. I usually don't like having debris flying around, but for this tutorial, that was one of my options. And I liked the design of the rocket, so I stuck with it. And I'm just burning retrograde until we get the periaps into the atmosphere of Kerbin. And I usually try to go for something around. 20,000 meters. Oh, that was a little bit low. It really doesn't matter in this game because they haven't added uh, heat. 
the orbit heating yet but it will be nice later when they add heat to not go in at too high an angle and we still have plenty of fuel left in our tank but we don't have any use for it anymore we can use the fuel to change our landing target or landing point so that we hit closer to the space uh, this space center sorry it's going to say spacecraft but that would be completely wrong so we are getting very close to the atmosphere just a hundred thousand meters left and we jettison the rocket stage and send it on a tra tra trajectory into the atmosphere where it will burn up if there was heat in the game so it will probably hit the ground but Bill is ready to enter the atmosphere and we are going to use the atmosphere to slow us down until the parachute deploys which will bring us down to Kerbin safely and we are using physics warp now that we are going through the atmosphere because I don't have the patience to wait for it and probably neither do you and we are slowing down you can see the speed has gone from over 3000 meters per second parachute deployment and we are going to land in the mountain somewhere I guess well that's not a perfect landing but what can you do Bill should have thought of that earlier and we want to stop the physics warp or we don't have to stop it we want to slow down the physics warp when we reach something close to 500 meters above the ground because that physics warp can rip the parachute off the spacecraft when it deploys and now we are just taking it down to Kerbin so I guess this was a very short ending to the tutorial but I hope you learn how to go to the moon and back and please give me some feedback and tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like like and subscribe the movie and I'll see you guys later Wearing Storm signing off